every now and again, it's fun to do a little bit of a history lesson and searching for cool things here in Georgia, especially with all its history. In 1957, a B-47 bomber dropped a 7,000-pound nuclear bomb into the waters off Tybee Island after it collided with another Air Force jet. Fifty years later, the bomb, which has unknown quantities of radioactive material, has never been found. And while the Air Force says the bomb, if left undisturbed, poses no threat to the area, determined bomb hunters and area residents aren't so sure. The Navy searched for the bomb for more than two months, but never found it. Today, they recommend that the bomb should remain in its resting place. In a 2001 report on the search and recovery of the bomb, the Air Force said that if the bomb is still intact, the risk associated with the spread of its heavy metals is low. As long as it's left undisturbed, the explosive in the bomb poses no hazard. So what would happen if the Tybee bomb ever went off? If the bomb does include the plutonium trigger, the resulting explosion would include a fireball with a radius of over a mile, and then the thermal radiation for up to 10 times that distance. But could the bomb even actually explode? The Air Force expert on nuclear weapons who studied the Tybee Island bomb says the damage from an accidental explosion would be minimal. Officials believe the bomb sank at least five miles off the coast, beneath about 20 feet of water and additional 15 feet of sand and silt. 